friends, Lorraine here, and my channel is Lowe's Life and Lessons. And today, I just want to address a topic that has been around the community of YouTube for a long, long time, especially among YouTubers 60 and over. And that is the whole concept of aging and anti-aging. I'd like to start with a story about my neighbor, Doris. Now, Doris, about five or six years ago, six or seven years ago, I guess, we were outside chatting and she was telling me, now Doris was in her 80s, she was telling me she had this old sofa and she was considering buying a new one. But she said, very matter-of-factly, but you know, she says, I could go any time though. And, and you know, so I've got this brand new sofa. <laughs> well, I was kind of taken aback by that. But on the other hand, I kind of, admired her being so forthright and practical. Anyway, Doris did end up buying a new sofa and she did live to enjoy it for a couple of years and she did pass away a few years later. But I never forgot that and I kind of admire that attitude because the reality is that we are at the end years of our lives as all living things on the earth are animal, vegetable, human beings, we all have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And every decade of life has its challenges. These decades of life, 60 and over, do have unique challenges. It seems that our spirits don't age, but our bodies often do. Now, everybody's body has different ways of manifesting that. I happen to have a lot of arthritis. Other people might have diabetes or maybe even a cancer diagnosis that has been under control for years, but it, it is something that they've had to live with. So we all have our challenges. Now, in terms of beauty and anti-aging, I don't think any company is claiming that their product is going to prevent us from aging or that they are against aging in the sense that they would prefer that we drop dead. I don't think that's the case at all. I think the idea is just to keep us looking as young and fresh and vibrant as we can because we have to admit it, youth is beauty. Yes, there is a mature beauty which has nothing to do with smooth skin and uh, long eyelashes, but it does have to do with what is in the eyes, what is, comes out through the spirit. And that's how we are beautiful at this age. But what about the stereotypes of aging? Because there are stereotypes of aging. We've all heard them. You know, the little old lady, the wizened up old man, the, the lack of hearing, the, the limping along, forgetfulness, um, being set in their ways, unwilling and unable to learn new things, including uh, a rejection of technology and uh, just uh, fixed opinions on everything. These are all stereotypes of aging. Now, the reality is that let's take being set in your ways. You know, after a lifetime of ways of doing things, ways of thinking, I think sometimes we do arrive at fixed ways of thinking and fixed ways of doing things that we find work for us. And who does that really hurt? Who does that bother? <laughs> so, you know, if you want to do things in a certain way and it doesn't affect anybody else or offend anybody else, why not do it? Like, why is that such a bad thing? And believe me, there are young people who are set in their ways also. Oh, yeah. Another stereotype is the older person who refuses to learn technology or just has no use for it in their lives. Well, of course, that's their choice. We weren't brought up with technology. It was not a part of our everyday life for the majority of the years that we've been alive on this planet. So if we don't want to make it part of our lives, that's our choice to do so. But the reality is, I find most of my friends, 60 and over, and up into the 80s, know technology very well and use it often in their daily lives and are very involved even in social media. On Facebook and Instagram and computer games, I mean, they're really into it. So sometimes I think these are a matter of the individual's personality. 
you know, some people are just a little more adventurous than others. Some people are quite comfortable to leave things as at the status quo and good on them. No harm to anybody, right? One area sometimes where I think older people could use a little bit of encouragement and just to take better care of themselves. I think sometimes we are in a lot of pain, we're tired, we have all these doctor's appointments and we're maybe worried about our families or whatever and we forget or we just don't bother taking care of ourselves the way we could. Just a touch of lipstick every day is amazing what that can do to your feeling of confidence and self-esteem. And you know, to have a nice haircut, to take care of your hair, to wear stylish clothes, to wear stylish footwear. It can be comfortable, but it can still be stylish. And sometimes just these little things can help to encourage younger people not to fear aging so much. A lot of young people just have this horrible feeling about aging. Although I have to say, when I was in my 20s, 30s, 40s, and even 50s, the thought of aging never crossed my mind. Honestly, I never thought about it. I never thought about it as part of my future or how I would deal with it. It just wasn't part of my mindset in those days. But young people today, they just seem to be desperate to stay young. And there's nothing wrong with that attitude because we do want to stay young. If staying young means staying curious, staying vibrant, staying energetic, taking good care of ourselves, keeping active, if that's staying young, yes, we want to do that. I do think that things are changing in our society in the attitudes towards aging people. First of all, our numbers are growing all the time. Every single year, there's more of us baby boomers entering our 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. And one thing that I have noticed, because I really like going out to hear live music, and even five years ago, it was really hard to find a venue where the music started any earlier than 9 or even 9.30. And that's late. And that's not even an age thing. I mean, I felt that way in my 40s and 50s, that that was too late to be starting the evening because I didn't want to stay out till midnight or 1 o'clock. But I do notice in the past year or so, it's possible to find live music, in my community anyway, beginning at 7 o'clock, nice and early. And be home by 10 o'clock. I love that. And I do think that that is to accommodate us older people who do want to go out. We do want to go out and meet with friends, listen to some music, have a drink, do some dancing. We want to do that. And believe me, these shows that are starting at 7 p.m., you'll find a lot of older people there. Finally, I do find that gradually, ever so gradually, you are seeing older people represented in commercials on TV and online and in magazines this type of thing and one thing that is really interesting to me for those of you who are bachelor fans and a lot of you are I know because it's a very popular show and it's kind of my guilty secret I kind of love the bachelor and the bachelorette series so I've been following most of those over the years but the next one coming up is called the golden bachelor and The Bachelor is 72 years old. Now, the first episode is tonight, so by the time this video is posted, there will be one or two episodes that have gone by, and we will have met the women. And he wanted women who are between the ages of 60 and, I believe, 70. So that'll be so interesting. And just the fact that this type of show is being produced all about older people, because you know what? There are many divorces happening, many people are widowed, and we are living longer. We want to have a partner in our life. So that's why this show is so meaningful in our society today, because it does represent that group of us who are out there. We're single, and we wouldn't mind meeting a partner to share the rest of our lives with. So that's my take on the whole anti-aging movement. You know, I don't know. I don't take that much offense at any of that promoting of anti-aging products. We do want to look our best and we do, we're not, we're not, we do understand, you know, we can figure it out that no product is going to prevent us from aging. I mean, come on, we can figure that out by ourselves. So let me know what you think in the comments below. There's so many opinions floating around YouTube these days about this topic. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up and 
Take care. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.